Greetings everyone. Um, I wanted to share a spreadsheet that I made recently which has been designed to allow for the creation and management of a large data set uh, with hierarchical relationships between the data. Um, for my sample data here I've constructed a number of families of data so A, B, C, D, these are the families um, and each uh, of these has some descendants. And so this sheet uses a macro um, that looks at the worksheet change selection change event uh, and allows the user to quickly show or hide descendants of that row item. So if I click here, I can show all of the descendants, I can click back there and hide them, um, and I can go in and sort of drill down uh, into these items quite easily. If the data set was small, um, if I didn't have many items in here, then I could probably use the inbuilt uh, groups function in Excel. So So up here I've got the option to create groups or create subtotals um, and, and that would do basically the same thing. Um, but here I've got a system where I've got a, a very large um, amount of data. Uh, so because the list is so large, the process of setting up the list um, and maintaining all of these groups would be quite tedious. Um, I wouldn't want to uh, actually go in and, and manually create groups for each of these things. Um, so because this sheet has a few other features, we're able to make the grouping process automatic um, just based on this numbering. So D, D12, D12.1, D12.1.1, just based on the numbering, I'm able to automatically get um, these groups to function. Um, and the magic really happens in, in these cells in here. So uh, columns B through to E um, contain the hierarchy data for the items in the sheet. Um, the column A just joins uh, these into a single text string so that most of the time when the user is, is viewing the sheet, all they see is, is this text string here. They just see like the compiled item. Now by breaking the data up like this, um, it allows us to dynamically insert new data points and have the numbering downstream update automatically. So if I wanted to insert a new item in here, I've seen in the past some companies have had spreadsheets with say D12.2.4 is a manually entered item as is everything under it. So if I want to insert a new item, um, I run into the problem of um, everything below it not updating. So here, because of the way that the, the cells work, I can drag that up. Oops. Um, Oh, sorry, I need to drag down. Um, and now I've, I've been able to carry forward that numbering for all below items. Um, to improve the readability of the sheet, there's also an option to automatically update the formatting. Um, so if I were to go into, um, say, create some new items under the buildings section, I don't currently have anything under buildings. Uh, let's say I want to insert a few new items in here. So um, I'm just going to copy the formula down here to make new items. I'm going to copy D, I'm going to copy 15, I'm going to start at 1, um, and let's go, let's copy that and have one item. Let's have another um, plus 1, 1. So copy that down, copy that down, copy these down. So now I've got my items um, D15, 15.1, 15.2, 2.1, 2.2, and so on. Um, but, um, but they look quite ugly, like the formatting here um, is, it doesn't really match the above items. So to, to fix that up, um, I've got the formatting sheet. Um, this contains um, all of the, uh, the sort of source formatting that can be applied to the other sheet when we hit the Format All button. So if I give that a quick press, um, the macro will apply um, all of the formatting from that source to my other sheets. And now if I come back in here, um, I can see I've got the items that I've just created um, updated appropriately. I can hide all of those and I can see um, what I need to and I can go on and edit these if this was uh, dummy data. Um, yeah, I can just fill it up with whatever I need to. Um, so I think that by, by doing this, by adding these two functions of being able to quickly um, expand these items um, and being able to quickly update and manage the formatting just based on uh, whatever is put in these 
four cells. Um, I think that's really going to reduce the administrative burden of keeping the sheet uh, up to date and improve the readability of the sheet um, so that it's easier for people to more accurately enter data as an end user. Um, there's a link to a copy of this sheet for use as a template and it's available in the description of this video. Um, if you like this sheet and you want to see more, please like and subscribe to the channel and that way you'll receive a notification when I publish more videos like this in the future. Um, for anyone who's interested in how the code works in this sheet, uh, either because you're learning programming um, or you want to change something in the sheet, maybe this sheet isn't exactly what suits your needs and you've got some other ideas, um, or maybe you're just curious, um, I'm now going to go into explain uh, the code.